judgment in the matter of Robinson, formerly J.R. Jamaica, versus the Secretary of State for the Home Department. Lord Lloyd Jones will explain the decision of the court. It is a conspicuous feature of litigation in the field of immigration and asylum law in this jurisdiction that those whose protection claims or human rights claims have already been refused seek to make further applications with further submissions or evidence in support. It's necessary that provision be made for such renewed applications for which there is a sound basis, not least because circumstances may change significantly and unforeseeably following the rejection of a claim. For example, it's not hard to imagine cases in which an initial claim for asylum might be made on insubstantial or even bogus grounds and be rightly rejected, <coughs> but <coughs> in which circumstances would subsequently arise or come to light showing a threat of a kind requiring the grant of asylum. A scheme of legal protection which could not accommodate that possibility would be seriously defective. In appropriate cases, it will be necessary to provide access to the statutory system of appeals when a second or subsequent submission is rejected. Nevertheless, it's necessary to protect such a scheme of legal protection from abuse. There is therefore a need to exclude from the statutory system of appeals second or successive appeals, which are made on grounds which have previously been rejected or which have no realistic prospect of success and which are often advanced simply in order to delay removal from the United Kingdom. The challenge is <clears throat> to provide a system which can deal fairly and effectively with all such applications while also complying with the United Kingdom's international obligations. A series of judicial decisions known as the Oni Boyo line of authority established that in the case of a second or successive application, it was for the Secretary of State to decide whether this constituted a fresh claim. An application will amount to a fresh claim if the submissions are significantly different from the material that has previously been considered. The submissions will only be significantly different if the content first has not already been considered and secondly taken together with previously considered material creates a realistic prospect of success notwithstanding its rejection. If the application is accepted as a fresh claim, the applicant will, subject to certain exceptions, have a right of appeal against the refusal of the claim. If it is not accepted as a fresh claim, the applicant will have no right of appeal against the refusal of the claim. A decision of the Secretary of State as to whether to accept an application as a fresh claim is itself subject to legal challenge on grounds of Wensbury unreasonableness. This approach is reflected in what became Rule 353 of the Immigration Rules. The appellant in this case is a Jamaican national who arrived in the United Kingdom in 1998 when he was seven years old. He has several criminal convictions, including two for robbery that triggered deportation proceedings. In July 2013, a deportation order was issued. He appealed to the first tier tribunal against his proposed deportation based on a claimed right to respect for his private life in the United Kingdom. It was accepted at the time that there was no family life in play. His appeal was dismissed and he was refused permission to appeal to the upper tribunal. He exhausted his rights of appeal. On the 13th of May 2015, the appellant's previous solicitors made further submissions to the Secretary of State, focusing on the fact that his partner at the time was pregnant. The Secretary of State treated the representations as an application to revoke the deportation order on the basis that it would breach Article 8 of the European Convention on Human Rights. In a letter dated the 23rd of June 2015, the Secretary of State concluded that deportation would not breach Article 8, refused to revoke the deportation order, and decided that the submissions did not amount to a fresh human rights claim under paragraph 353 of the immigration rules. The appellant's son was born in July 2015. The appellant made further submissions to the Secretary of State regarding the birth of his son and providing documentation. In a letter dated the 31st of July 2015, the Secretary of State again concluded that deportation would not breach Article 8 and that the further submissions did not amount to a fresh claim. The appellant appealed against the decision of the 31st of July 2015, but the first tier tribunal declined jurisdiction on the basis that there was no right of appeal against the decision. The upper tribunal dismissed his application for judicial review of the Secretary of State's decision that the further representations were not a fresh claim and the first tier tribunal's decision that he had no right of appeal. On the 4th of May 2017, the Court of Appeal dismissed his appeal. 
The particular question for decision on this appeal to the Supreme Court is where a person has already had a protection claim or a human rights claim refused and there is no pending appeal, do further submissions which rely on protection or human rights grounds have to be accepted by the Secretary of State as a fresh claim in accordance with Rule 353 of the Immigration Rules if a decision in response to those representations is to attract a right of appeal under Section 82 of the Nationality, Immigration and Asylum Act 2002. On this appeal, the appellant makes two main submissions. First, he submits that the Onibio line of authority did not survive the decision of the Supreme Court in BA Nigeria, and that accordingly there is no longer any role for Rule 353 of the Immigration Rules. Secondly, he submits that the amendments to Part 5 of the 2002 Act, effected by the 2014 Act, the Immigration Act 2014, abrogate the control mechanism established by the Onibio line of authority and Rule 353 of the Immigration Rules and that the words human rights claim as they appear in Section 82.1b of the 2002 Act following amendment by the 2014 Act are to be interpreted without reference to Rule 353. On this basis, he submits that any second or subsequent submission, which is a human rights claim, attracts a right of appeal notwithstanding that the individual has made a previous claim that removal would breach a relevant obligation, whether the same relevant obligation or a different one, whether on the same basis or a different one, whether with the same or different submissions and evidence, but subject, however, to the power of the Secretary of State to certify the claim as clearly unfounded. The Supreme Court has unanimously rejected these submissions and has dismissed the appeal. First, the decision of the the Supreme Court in BA Nigeria does not establish that the words human rights claim as they appear in part 5 of the 2002 Act are to be interpreted without reference to the Onibio line of authority or Rule 353 of the Immigration Rules. The actual decision in BA Nigeria was that Rule 353 had no further part to play for this purpose once there was an appeal against an immigration decision. It did not determine that the Secretary of State was no longer entitled to decide the prior question as to whether a second or subsequent submission constituted a claim at all. The Supreme Court adopts the analysis of BA Nigeria by Lord Newberger, the Master of the Rolls, in ZA Nigeria. Secondly, the amendments to the 2002 Act effected by the 2014 Act have not changed the position. It remains the case that there will only be an asylum or human rights claim to be determined if, in relevant cases, further submissions are considered to amount to a fresh claim. For these reasons, the appeal will be dismissed.